Hi, welcome to Raw Reviews. I'm Tim Green. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Liverpool Robust Cherry Pipe. And there you have it. Now this is a quite a nice looking pipe. Um, and it's comprised of um, three sections. This one, I'll go into that in a minute. Um, this is obtained through Moju Republic, uh, came as a full kit with two batteries and a trust fire multifunction charger. Um, as you can see, it's uh, aesthetically it's very lovely, it's very nice, very tactile. Um, there are unfortunately some design flaws and I'll go into those in a minute um, but it does affect the build quality um, the pipe itself um, comprises three sections the mouthpiece this is of the curved mouthpiece the atomizer which is a, um, a standard 510 um, mega atomizer um, they're probably known under other names as well um, I've heard them, well, I know one company that calls them the Mega Titan um, that's, a, that's a mega atomizer um, it's similar to the type uh, B tank atomizer but obviously without the spike <coughs> for the tank cartridge and the third section is the pipe bowl <coughs> now the pipe bowl consists of the switch at the top a standard 510 connection which is not flush to the pipe bowl and that enables you to connect um, a tank atomizer so you could go for, and probably aesthetically it's more pleasing to go for a Type B atomizer, a Type B tank atomizer, or a cylindrical atomizer. Um, but of course you wouldn't be able to use the mouthpiece with that, you'd be using the tank cartridge. Um, but you could use any any standard 510 adapter um, so cartomizer, atomizer, whatever but obviously you completely lose the aesthetics if you do that <clears throat> now the pipe bowl itself you see I'm holding it upside down now that's actually not something that I would recommend you do for any length of time and there's a reason for that the all of this top section here the rim and the switch aren't actually screwed down. There are four magnets placed strategically to hold the thing in place. Now that seems like a good idea in principle however because of the construction of this if I now take off the lid oh, see, the switch has fallen completely out. Now the switch is just basically a punched piece of metal with spring in the top. It, it works very well. Um, sometimes I've found that you have to put quite a bit of pressure on it which does concern me with the spring because obviously you're over compressing a spring there um, but it works just fine. But basically as you push down the switch here it makes contact with this metal rim here. If I take the battery out that metal rim is there's a wire connection inside that goes down to a metal plate at the bottom and that forms your connection so that works fine and here you have your four magnets um, that hold, the, hold on the, the, the lead section and they do an admirable job they do work 
Uh, I do worry though because there isn't a recess at all within this section for the lid. So this is just relying solely on the magnets to stay on. That's fine, but then you run into issues when you put it in a pocket. Because if you put it in a pocket, it's going to come off. And if it comes off, the first thing that's going to happen is your switch piece is going to go walk about and uh, before you know it you're gonna you're gonna not you're not gonna have a functioning pipe uh, just to say see this is just putting the, the lid back on um, now the magnets are quite strong I don't know if you could see that as I was doing it but it was it was pulling at the lid as as I got close now you want that you want the magnets to be strong to try and not you know but I mean you can still open this up quite easily um, there's not much clearance between the magnets and the outer wall of the pipe bowl. Now what happens there is that this results in other things sticking to it. I mean, um, just looking around now to see if I've got anything else, but um, when I put it down on the desk at work, uh, I picked it up and I had, it was covered in paper clips. Yeah, it's funny for about 20 seconds. But then uh, you have to think, well, what happens if I put it near a mobile phone or put my credit card down near it or, you know, you don't want to have to be thinking about magnetic fields around your devices. We're all, you know, we, we, we just put things down where they go. You don't necessarily start thinking about, you know, having to protect things. Now, I've just spotted here I'm leaving a trail of e-liquid on the table um, and that's because I, I, I have overfed this hattie a little bit so it's, it's probably worthwhile me talking about that now actually because obviously it's a straight atomizer the um, mouthpiece doesn't allow for a cartridge of any kind so you're dripping that's fine there are a couple of problems. Well, there's one one real problem with it. Um, the mouthpiece has a recess with an O-ring sat in it. Now, I'm trying to do this close. So if I line these up, can you see there? That's the bottom section in, but the, the O-ring is pushing out. I have to push the o-ring back down in and I have to do it around a couple of the sides before it will slide in. Now this slides in and out pretty easily now but when I got it I couldn't get the damn thing in at all. Then of course I read the instructions on the site which said use a little bit of e-liquid to um, lubricate that joint. I did and it works fine apart from having to fiddle about with the o-ring. Now the o-ring does get coated in e-liquid so now I've got e-liquid on my fingers. So it's not a mess-free process. Um, vapor production on this is, is fairly good. It's a 3.7 volt um, mod. Um, the atomizer is an LR atomizer. Um, the batteries are uh, 18350s. Uh, these are 800 milliamp hours. Um, one battery has lasted me perhaps four or five hours of fairly heavy use um, before I've noticed some drop off and that's at the point where I take it out and then stick in afresh. Um, the thing is, you see, that's the, if I was using this exclusively, this that that would probably last me probably about five hours, let's say. Um, but the problem is I've not been using it exclusively. I had every intention of um, just using this on its own for the review. Um, and I found that I, I couldn't. Why? Well, 
suppose because I, was, I wasn't a pipe smoker that wasn't, wouldn't help, but it just doesn't feel right. The switch placement bugs me because when I'm vaping, and I'll show you quickly now, when I'm vaping, the, uh, the switch placement means I'm holding it like this. Now, that just feels wrong. I'm pressing with my index finger. I'm a thumb pusher with mods. I prefer to push with my thumb. I don't, I, I couldn't hold it like that. I can't even hold it like that, you know? And it doesn't feel right. And because I'm using a finger that I'm not used to, um, it feels like I'm exerting far too much pressure on it. So I'm not that keen on that. Vapor production wise, it produces a good amount of vapor. But not a phenomenal amount of vapor. Um, this is. Um, I mean, it's a nice mod. It's, it's aesthetically very pleasing, but it just doesn't. It doesn't grab you by the throat and tell you, use me. So, I haven't been doing it. I've been using other things as well. And occasionally sitting down and thinking, oh yeah, I must be using the, must use the pipe. Now for me, that's the point where I part with this. It just doesn't grab me. It has done one thing though. Before this, I wouldn't have gone near a wooden mod for Love No Money. So the Phidias, Phidias Woodville, uh, the Monkey Box, and mods like that, I, I would not have gone anywhere near. This has changed my mind. I do like the sensation. I do like the tactile nature of the wooden bowl, of the wood itself. It's warm. It's soft. It's, it feels malleable in your hands. It's not, obviously. It's not. It's not changing shape in any way, shape or form. But it feels like that. It feels like you're moulding with it. Um, it's going to have its appeal, um, and I know already that there are people who who love these. So this review is probably not going to go down too well. Um, I'm just not enamoured. Um, it's a nice, it looks nice, it's aesthetically very pleasing. Um, but once you start delving into the depths, so to speak, I'm afraid it falls short. So... End of the review. Um, I hope that it's been of use to you and tune in soon. Bye for now.